All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You're listening on WKTJ Reverence Radio, wherever you can listen to your favorite podcast. It is October 23rd, 2020, and this is what is in your news. Last night, there was a debate between the presidential candidates, and according to several Snapchats, Polls, or snap polls, I should say. Joe Biden won the last final 2020 presidential can- candidate debate. Um, and I did watch that debate, and it wasn't that great, but it wasn't that bad. And there was no mute button. It was a just a mental thing, I believe, that you should give your opponent two minutes uninterrupted or they will mute you. And they did not mute you because I could hear them still arguing or making side comments while the other person was talking. And I don't know why they said anything about a mute button because it wasn't there. If that was the case, it would have been a lot easier to understand what the person was saying, but you couldn't have the time because someone was talking out the side of the mouth. But there there was times where they were fair and they let them speak and each other spoke and, and nobody said anything. And there's other times where you wanted them to shut up because the moderator was saying... Uh, I'll let you respond with 10 seconds and they still keep talking and one of the candidates was talking and or asking questions instead of answering the questions. That's the only thing I didn't like. Was how can you answer a question if you're asking your opponent a question? It doesn't make sense to me in a debate. But that's mainly what Trump was doing to the Biden last night. He was asking more questions than he was answering and I think that's why they say he lost. But other than that, make sure you get out there and vote, you guys. It's critical right now. A lot going on that people don't know about. And um, apparently Mitch McConnell has some visible bruises. And he says there's no concerns despite the visible bandages and bruises other than that all right and New York is going to sue Trump over his anarchy label three cities recently labeled anarchist jurisdiction Jurisdictions by the president are suing Trump. And, uh, well, New York City, Seattle, and Portland sue Trump on funding threat. This is over anarchist jurisdictions. Wow. I didn't know it was that easy to sue somebody over something that itty bitty. But, uh. There was a 19 year old with a van full of guns and explosives that plotted to assassinate Joe Biden. And his plot was foiled. Wow. Wow. And they uh, got him in Charlotte somewhere. Says the Charlotte Observer. Huh. I didn't know it. But it was becoming clear that he was going to be the Democratic presidential nominee back in March. This guy was planning. To make him a target. 
this young man was found in North Carolina in May with a van carrying five guns, explosives, and $500,000 in cash. And, uh, wow, this is crazy. But here it is, October, so why are they just now reporting that? I don't know. Huh. Now, this is an interesting story for people who like ice cream and decide they want to go to McDonald's to get an ice cream cone and the ice cream machine is not working. Now, they have a bot for that to fix the ice cream machine. There's an app that would tell you if the local McDonald's ice cream machine is broken or not. The data says you have ice cream. We all know the heartbreak of wanting nothing more than a cheap ice cream cone from McDonald's only to find out that it's broken. Well, this app should be helpful in the summertime, but we still are in October. (laughs) If they would have reported that back in the summertime as well. Wow. Be prepared for your postal mail and everything to be delayed this year because the record shows that postal delays persist in battleground states. So you can still vote by mail, but there will be delays. U.S. Postal Service records show delivery delays have persisted across the country as millions of Americans are voting by mail. So, be prepared for that. And Joe Biden is considering making Bernie Sanders the Labor Secretary if and when he becomes president. Bernie Sanders is now making a play for Biden's Labor Secretary being part of his cabinet. Which will also raise a question of an open Senate seat in Vermont. So if he does be, take the job, there will be an open senator seat in Vermont. Be aware of that. All right. Now, the moderator last night, she was pretty good. She didn't take much mess from these guys. And her name is Christian Welker. And she has been praised for her performance last night. And went lit up on certain topics such as racial diversity and even the president commenting on how well she was handling the debate which is a good thing very beautiful woman Alright, and there was another plot to attack a black church 
by a girl, teen girl named Caitlin Pye. She entered a guilty plea on Thursday for planning an armed attack on a black church in Gainesville. Wow. Why would she do that? I don't understand people. But they caught her. Maybe the same church that she was trying to attack. She was arrested last year in 2019. And now I was in court and pled guilty to planning a plot on a church in Gainesville, Georgia. So it wasn't the same church. I thought it was in North Carolina. Wow, these people are crazy, man. Keep your eyes open, people. So, Southwest Airlines has taken out the option of the middle seat. And now they have unblocked the middle seats for holiday travel. Take note of that, you all. That's very important. Help you get where you have to go, but you can now have a middle seat. All right. The wildfires on the West Coast, uh, Colorado and California, have grown in size. And... The Holiday Bowl, 2020 Holiday Bowl, has been canceled due to the coronas, coronavirus. And Adam family, Adam's family plans to do a reboot. This time, Tim Burton is planning to do a new live action Adam's family series. We all remember the movie he came up with. Well, that movie is going into television for a reboot. Hmm. Should be interesting. Very interesting. And coronavirus is on the rise, y'all. It's the cases are phenomenal right now. They are setting records at seventy seven thousand in one day. Wow. There were many hospitals in crisis as the U.S. nears high for coronavirus cases. And there have been vaccine trials that have been halted due to one of their cases having the trial which participant die. And um, it's not the only one that has halted their trials, but this particular one had a person die, not knowing if it's from the vaccine or just because of their condition. They have a night curfew in France. You can cast your vote from space. That's how critical this is. 
and there have already been over 47 million ballots that have been cast in this election. 47 million. Wow. That's amazing. And even Mike Pence voted early. Wow. There has been a ceasefire in Libya. And Sudan and Israel have come to an agreement. And... The new season for the NBA could start before Christmas Day. You heard me right. The new 2020-21 NBA season could start before Christmas Day. Wow. Wow. And they just finished because the Lakers won the championship. And now the stimulus news. Nancy Pelosi says that they are very, very close. Steve Mnuchin has just returned from his trip overseas. And has continued to speak to Nancy Pelosi while he was away out the country over the phone. And they have ironed out a lot of details they had with a lot of different issues and topics. And now they're finishing ironing out those problems they've had. And are really, really close to an agreement to where they can put it on paper and finalize it and get a vote on it. But as far as for doing it, getting a bill signed into law before the election, it's not looking really good. So that is all for the news. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You are listening on WKTJ Reference Radio. We'll be right back.